So the first snake we're actually going to ultrasound is an Arizona blacktail rattlesnake. This is one of our girls, and she's been going through breeding. She looks quite suspect with her uh, her feeding has been reduced. Her body weight is uh, increasing, so we're hoping that we actually have already had ovulation, which means sperm and ovum have met, and we now have developing neonates. If she just has follicles, which is pre-ovulation, we'll also hopefully realize that too. But the first thing we're going to do is Timmy's going to need to take the snake out and tube it. Oh, she looks so good. I trust you in my life. You know that, right? So I found the easiest is to let her climb along a cage. Mm -hmm. And then all I can do is, now she's not going to climb. Oh, well, she can go right up it. I'm going to have to go for the next size tube. She generally calms, Not very happy. She generally calms down when I include her binky. This gives her emotional support. She just sprayed no, that's, Timmy, that's Timmy drooling all over the place. Oh, it's fucking snow right now. Uh, so she's she's you know kind of a little bit of panicking because we basically confined her to something where she doesn't quite understand it. And generally we don't do this unless we have a reason. But what's really great about tubing is you keep the bitey bits uh, very safe. Look at that. Oh, show that again, Timmy. Do it, do it oh, Timmy. God, man. Timmy, do it so he can film it. Yeah, that's a true. Oh, okay. Yeah, try to get it going again. I have the shield to show. Well, we got to get Timmy to realize. It's it's okay. Yeah. Timmy, it's all right, buddy. It took Kevin like six months to figure out his uh -huh, filming. That's up. right. I'm still working <laughs> on it. There you go. Look. some hi well anyways she's uh she's actually a really pretty sweet animal but she uh how long can you like keep these in safely in the tubes for a while yeah for a while. i mean we only do it this is you know this might only happen to her once every couple of years uh, so right now we're just gonna uh we're gonna move her over to the ultrasound and see what's going on if i can find anything at all well yeah so what i do is very soft gentle I can feel like a lump. lump. So what I'm feeling is I'm feeling marshmallows. So once we have feel like a little marshmallow, definitive like roop, roop, roop. So you can tell that those are uh, sacked little neonates developing, but those are really early on. So these are pretty much very underdeveloped embryos, but there's a lot of yolk. So I can just tell something's in her and um, palpate down. Yeah. At two in the head. She's such a doll. So I'd like to get her laying against the, the cage. Mm -hmm. You're protecting me, right? Barely. Okay, cool. And I'm going to need to retreat. Oh, where yeah, you that's good. Yeah. You got it in there, Tim. Damn. Tim, you got it in. Good job. Oh, so now, very critical. Fits. We absorb, we basically want to. Manage her body because once you start locating them in here, she might panic. It's very hard to tell when she will like start thrashing. So Timmy's going to support her here. Then we're going to be very supportive of her body as we lift her up because we, it's very easy to twist her. And if she has babies, there's a lot more weight in her. And snakes are actually very fragile. I'm going to probably have you pick the back end up to get it to the okay. table. Okay. She is huge. Yeah, she's she's a. Dude, somebody broke our other ultrasound. All right, Wait, Kevin, you're saying somebody broke an ultrasound machine? We yeah, don't they know broke who it and tried to put it back together and made it look like whatever, but it's clearly it's fallen on the ground. The probe came off. It doesn't work now. The side of the thing is, is like busted and out of the frame. And you've had it since 1988? No. <laughs> no. Did you have one older than that I've before? Like probably four if years. she does start oh, to trash at all, Kevin, support the little body. Because I'm not going to be able to thank come you. down there. Timmy, oh, thank man. You. Timmy's yeah. teaching Kevin how to do his job. Look at yeah, that. Yeah, thank you. Well, Look at that pattern. I don't want my snake hurt. We, we love her. She's just a, a sweetness. Okay, so first of all, I want to wait for her to kind of calm down. Hey, sweetie. They have to just, like, take it in and accept. Take it in and accept. Yeah, you just want to... You want to wait for her to like catch up, get the brain catching up where she realizes nothing bad's happening. I mean, it might be a little bit concerning to her. You can certainly look at this pat. Look at that pattern, Rob. She's like a caterpillar. Come on, sweetie. She's like a caterpillar? She's like a caterpillar. She's like a caterpillar. She 
She is strong. All right, here we go. Pause. They're just stacked. Boom. There you go. Yeah. Boom. Look at them all. Boom. So let me tell you. So when you're ultrasounding snakes, you have to have an imagination. So if this animal hasn't been eating and I'm palpating her and I feel a lot of, you know, there's a lot of fat in these guys because they're in captivity. So food is less of a challenge and they get a, a lot, uh, lot of caloric uh, attention. And so sometimes you get this big blob of, of fat you have to kind of get through to find out what's going on. That marshmallow right there? Yeah. That That's a pretty definitive. good way to define what it is for a simple thing. So, okay, so this is early on. So we have to revisit this. You're not seeing a lot of definition because you don't really have a spine or anything like that because it's early in the, um, the development. But there's space being taken up by these developing uh, embryos. So if we come back to this in another... I don't know, a month and a half. We're gonna like right there. You can see a very definitive blob. Mm -hmm. That big blob. 